गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस यूनिट नंबर फोर हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट एंड कंटेमिनेशन कंट्रोल सिक्स हवर टाइम फॉर दिस लेक्चर दिस यूनिट तो सी हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट लेक्चर सेशन प्लान इंट्रोडक्शन सिंपल रेसिप्रिकेटिंग सर्किट रिजेनरेटिव सर्किट फिफ्टी मिनट समरी ऑफ सेशन टेन मिनट सिलेबस हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट एंड कंटेमिनेशन कंट्रोल सिक्स आवर हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट सिंपल रेसिप्रिकेटिंग सर्किट रिजेनरेटिव सर्किट कंट्रोल मीटर इन मीटर आउट एंड ब्रेड ऑफ meter in meter out and bread of circuit sequencing synchronization transfer and feed automatic reciprocating fail safe circuit counter balance circuit actuator rocking and unloading circuit motor braking circuit contamination control contamination source of contamination suction strainer filters filtration filter rating learning objective of this lecture what is hydraulic circuit what are different component and their graphical symbol in hydraulic circuit what are different types of hydraulic circuit to understand simple reciprocating and regenerative hydraulic circuit outcomes of this in a this lecture at the end of session student can understand information about hydraulic circuit different types of hydraulic circuit and their component construction and operation in the fluid system second student understand the construction and operation of simple reciprocating and regenerative circuit what is hydraulic circuit see this is hydraulic circuit simple hydraulic system this is the reservoir this is pump this is pressure and this is piston force this is called actuator see reservoir pump taken up oil or liquid from pump uh, from reservoir to pump to the high pump convert low pressure to high pressure and this high pressure is liquid apply pressure on this pistons and this piston move to rightward or forward direction then this force apply on the right word direction this is called actuator this is simple hydraulic system so definition of hydraulic circuit hydraulic circuit is a group of component such as pump actuators control valves and conductors uh, again so that they will perform a useful task important consideration when analyzing or designing hydraulic circuit safety of operation performance of, of design function efficiency of operation so a typical hydraulic system see here typical hydraulic system see first is a pump see this is pump second is a oil tank this is oil tank third is a flow control valve this is flow control valve fourth is a pressure relief valve this is pressure relief valve five is a hydraulic cylinder this is hydraulic cylinder six is the direction control valve this is direction control valve and seven is a throttle valve this is throttle valve see this is cut section of the typical hydraulic system see this is our pump this is reservoir this is pump this is 
flow control wall control the flow this is pressure relief wall set the pressure this is direction control wall first second first flows and third direction this is <clears throat> See, this is the hydraulic cylinder. This is hydraulic cylinder. And this is rotor wall. So see, this is circuit. This is two reserve wire, one pump, third flow control wall. This is pressure relief wall. This is direction control wall. See, this is Total wall. This is our hydraulic cylinder, like that. This circuit, in this circuit form, schematic for the diagram. Different hydraulic circuit. Simple reciprocating, single acting, double acting. Regenerative hydraulic circuit. Speed control of hydraulic circuit. Different flow circuit. Speed control of hydraulic circuit, meter in, meter out, and bread up. See, simple reciprocating, single acting and upper acting, regenerative hydraulic circuit, regenerative. Speed control of hydraulic circuit, meter in, meter out, bread up. Sequencing circuit, synchronization of circuit, transfer and feed hydraulic circuit, automatic reciprocating hydraulic circuit. Hair safe hydraulic circuit, counterbalance hydraulic circuit, actuator rocking hydraulic circuit, unloading circuit, motor braking circuit. So, this is different types of circuit. So, we are going to discuss one by one. First one simple reciprocating circuit. So control of a signal, single acting hydraulic cylinder. So see, what are the component of the circuit? A two by three manually actuated spring offset direction control wall, pump, filter, tank, pressure grip wall. Control of a sing single acting hydraulic circuit. See, this is single acting hydraulic circuit. This is single acting hydraulic circuit. A two by three manually actuated, manually actuated spring offset direction control wall. Two by three, see, this is two by three. Control of a single acting hydraulic cylinder. Theta. So pump, filter, tank, and pressure relief wall. Yeah, this is second position. Are you going to tank? So see, operation in the spring offset mode, full pump flow goes to the tank via the pressure relief wall. Via the pressure relief wall. Full pump flow goes to the tank. Full pump flow goes to the tank at the pressure relief wall. The spring is rod, the spring in the rod end of the cylinder retracts the piston as oil from the blank end drain back to the tank. In the retract condition, the oil go to the tank When the wall is manually actuated into the left envelope flow path configuration, pump flow extends the cylinder. A full extension pump flow goes to the relief wall. Deactivation of the DCV allows the cylinder to retract as the DCV shift into its spring offset mode. Control of double acting hydraulic cylinder. This is control of double acting hydraulic cylinder. See, uh, here control of double acting hydraulic cylinder. 
this is cross position center position c this is first position this is cross position second position Weather wire, pair tart, pump, pressure grip wall. So operation when the four-way wall is in its tandem design, the cylinder is hydraulically locked. Also the pump is unloading back to the tank as essentially atmospheric pressure. When the four-way wall is in its tandem design, the cylinder is hydraulically locked. Also, the pump is unloaded back to the tank at essential atmospheric pressure. When the four-way wall is actuated into the flow path configuration of the left envelope, the cylinder is extended again its load force upward as oil flow from port P through port A, also oil in the rod end of the cylinder is free to flow back to the tank via the four-way wall from port B to port T. Note that the cylinder could not extend if this oil were not allowed to leave the rod end of the cylinder. When the four-way wall is deactivated, the spring-centered envelope prevails and the cylinder once again hydraulically locked. When the four-way wall is actuated into the right envelope configuration, the cylinder retracts as oil from port P through point port B, port P through port B, like that. Means this position. Oil in the blank end is returned to the tank via flow path from port A to port T, from port A to T like that from here to here. At the end of the stroke, there is no system demand for oil, thus the pump flow goes to the grip wall at its pressure level setting unless the four-way wall is deactivated. In any event, the system is protected from any cylinder overload like that. See, here at the, this close position, at the first position, cylinder uh, piston goes to the power direction and oil returns to the from B to T. Here at the third position, oil goes to the P to B and piston going to our rod going to retract, retracted our pistons and A to T, oil return to the tank. In that case, close position, oil goes to the pump, uh, <clears throat> pumping the oil to the pressure grip wall tank. Regenerative hydraulic circuit. 4 by 3 DCV with regenerative circuit center. In the regenerative natural, instead of sending the return flow back to the tank, it send it to the in in the red side of the cylinder, thereby increase its speed. We know that the general equation for velocity of an actuator discharge equal to A into velocity. So velocity equal to Q by A into thousand. So see here in this diagram, direction control law DAC. Regenerative center 4 by 3 DCV. Regenerative center. See, this is accumulator, the regenerative neutral. Instead of sending the return flow back to the tank, it sends it to the inlet side of the cylinder, thereby increasing its speed. This is the regenerative cylinder. This is function of means return oil using to control the, to increase the speed of the pistons. See here, uh, in this cylinder, in this circuit, this is pump oil goes to the P2A 
and this position, this piston move forward direction, and this oil return to B two, B two A means this pressurized oil also support to increase the pressure, and this piston move very fast. That is the regenerative circuit. So this is regenerative circuit. This is pressure required here. It's very simple. We know that the general equation Q equal to A V, so velocity equal to Q upon A. Uh, at neutral, return flow is being regenerated. Now the total flow to the head side of the actuator is pump flow plus the flow coming from the rod end. The flow coming from the rod end. The above equation is also to be now as with generally generative velocity equal to Q P plus Q R discharge for the pump discharge plus discharge of rod n upon area of piston. Okay. So this is. With regenerative, this is without regenerative formula. Regenerative circuit we can see here in diagram form. See like that. Used to increase the speed of the cylinder during extension flow. Means from here this oil return oil also used to forward this piston in right word. Load carrying capacity decreased, but it made up by the increase in speed. Thus, power carrying capacity remains same. Power carrying capacity remains same here. So, regenerative cylinder circuit. It is used to speed up the extending speed of double acting hydraulic cylinder. This is the regenerative. It is used to speed up the extending speed of double acting hydraulic cylinder. See, this is QT. QP plus QR, like that. QR, QP plus QR, QP, QR block. This is accumulator or cylinder. Parallel circuit showing flow path during cylinder extension stroke. Regenerative cylinder circuit, like that. Yeah, this is complete circuit. We can see. The total flow rate of QT entering the blank end of the cylinder equal to the pump flow rate Q plus regenerative flow rate QR coming from the rod end of the cylinder. So QT entering the blank end of the cylinder equal to Q pump discharge plus regenerative discharge. So QP equal to QT minus QR. So Q Pump discharge of the pump equal to AP plus VP extension minus AP minus AR into VP extension. So VP VP see uh, your broad exact see here. Uh, VPA EXT equal to QP upon AR, a small rod area product, a large extending, extending speed. This is extending VP. So ratio of extending and retracting speed. When the extending and retracting speed are equal, the extending speed of the pistons, the VP extra QP upon AR. So we know that the retracting speed equal the pump flow rate divided by Difference of the piston and rod areas. QP retraction, QP upon AP minus AR. So the ratio QP extension and VP extension, sorry, VP extension to VP retraction equal to AP upon AR minus one. Area of piston upon area of rod minus one. So speed equation condition when the piston area equal to. Two times the rod area. 
piston equal equate equity equality condition when the piston area equal to two times the rod area the greater the ratio of piston area to rod area the greater the ratio of extending speed to retracting speed so rod carrying capacity during the extension yep rod extension equal to p a r area of rod the rod carrying capacity of the rod carrying capacity of regenerative cylinder during the extension is less than that obtained from a regular double acting cylinder the rod carrying capacity of uh, for a regenerative cylinder during the extension for the regenerative cylinder during the extension equal the pressure time the piston rod area rather than the pressure time piston area so in it you read a uh, question and answer question please ask me any problem any queries please ask me or a few on whatsapp or by call so today we have stop here thank you we to, today we are discussing regenerative circuit simple circuit and circuit diagram so we are stop here so thank you all of you thank you